what appears to be just an ordinary tilted half sinking oil rig. It's actually a freaking theme park. This is no ordinary theme park, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually really quite impressive because in the world of Planet Coaster, the game itself, there is a X, Y, Z axis, and generally it is very hard to make things on a slant. So this is actually a lot more impressive than meets the eye. Plus it is just a marvel and a masterpiece of a creation. So today's theme park experience, we are going on an adventure to an oil rig. So buckle up, keep your arms in at all times and join me in today's episode of Park Spotlight. Hey yo, my Palaticoaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. As mentioned, we're gonna be looking at the oil rig created by Sir Allen, one of our Discord master builders and bronze patrons. That is right. This video is sponsored by my Patreon. If you guys do enjoy the content on the show, I would really appreciate your guys' support. Not only will you get your name added to the credits of the beginning and end of every video, but as you can see in Discord, we also have a VIP lounge with personal VIP announcements, monthly posts, monthly vlogs, but we've also introduced the priority submissions. And what you get to do here is submit your creation and then we can upvote what is going to be featured next. By being a patron, you get to help decide what content will be on the channel and you'll also get to post your stuff here and the community curates what they're most excited about next. And I will try to get to featuring all of these creations over the coming months chosen by the vip members on discord you are seeing today's creation links to my patreon are down in the description below if you want to support the show you like the content it is greatly appreciated thanks guys back to the video so there it is ladies and gentlemen a patron has submitted this creation the community has voted to the top and here sir allen says about their creation no it's not you you can tilt your head back upright because this is the rig an abandoned oil extraction facility with an unfortunate lopsided angle Although no longer functional as an oil platform, the rig has been converted into a thriving attraction park with two coasters and three flat rides. No TMTK, and there is a link to some music. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a closer look at the rig. Here we are at the rig, ladies and gentlemen. One thing I forgot to get in the B-roll was the nighttime lighting, which is absolutely sensational. This looks like a vibe and a party all at once. Good googly moogly. We got swinging hammer rides at the top, all sorts of crazy contraptions. Is there a park entrance? Looks like we can get on from a little raft here, enter into the park. But let's take another sh look at this, shall we? My goodness, that looks like straight out of a movie set right there. Let's take a screenshot of that. We need a thumbnail. We need a thumbnail. Now you guys got a little bit behind the scenes. That's how we do things here. We, we sit back with a camera, and we push buttons. Let's go! The rig. All right, we're doing things the official way, climbing up the rig tower. Up we go. And we have that background music from Sir Alan. I can start to hear it a little bit as we climb to the top. Some sort of heavy metal. Oh, look at this. Here's the music machine right here. Looks about right to me. I'm no engineer. I don't know how to construct an oil rig, but if I was to, this is how I would do it. So I think you hit this with uh, absolute impeccable recreation right here. Definitely use car engine bits for a uh, oil rig engine generator. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. WC and overflow. I'm assuming that is the coasters. Yeah, this is really cool at nighttime. I'm digging it. I think uh, I think we're gonna have to ride this at both day and night. We definitely should go check out those vistas at some point. There's actually a lot of pathways squeezed in here. Uh, hydrocarbon vertigo pump hammer, oil slick. Hello. Hmm. I want to go vertigo. Let's go to the top. 
Oh man, I didn't bring my radiation suit. Oh well. What is this? Ooh, it almost looks like a picture, but it's actually just something something funky done with gems there. Uh This is wild. Here's that music. Let's go, Vertigo. Ooh. Oh, that's the pump hammer. Get ready to pump it up. Whoa. It's open. There's like three people on it. I think everyone else fell off. Woohoo! That's actually quite phenomenal, having a flat ride at the top of an oil rig like that. Ow! And then we can't forget about the, uh, what is this? The vertigo. I actually came up here expecting roller coasters, but, uh, I'm okay with this. Ooh. <laughs> Quit overreacting. You're fine. This is fine. <laughs> All right, we survived. Cool. All right. Well, um, I have to go down the long way. Jump cut. Gosh darn it. I didn't see oil slick while I was up there. Oh, this way. Perfect. Whew oil slick let's find we're going up I think so wow what a crazy contraption sir Allen pulling out all the stops with these crazy creations hydrocarbon oil slick I didn't know this was here so I'm gonna check this out I feel like we're going to like a, a dance party Hydrocarbon dance party. Wow. <laughs> this is way cooler from the, uh, the foot perspective. So neat. All right, looks like we have a single rail coaster. What do we have for the stats? It is green across the board. It's about a minute in duration. Nothing crazy here. Some air time on this, and the biggest drop is 32 meters, max speeds of 62 miles per hour. Definitely gonna wanna check this one out in uh, track view. And we'll also do a daytime perspective, because why not? Short and sweet, I think your coaster might be too short for the duration of that epic song that we didn't even get it to kick into high gear. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at this at daytime.
Wow, that is actually really cool. And now that we can see it at daytime, take a look at these custom supports. Have you ever seen custom supports like this in Planet Coaster? He's actually created these out of other single rail coasters. <laughs> that is crazy looking. I love the look of that. Really nicely done, Sir Alan. And uh, look at this. We have the big steel beams working as custom supports as well. I don't know. <laughs> Almost looks like a wrench. Just clamp on a wrench, a gigantic wrench. These look like tools holding this thing together. <laughs> Massive tools. Look at all this craziness. This is really impressive. Let's let's go see what that other ride is about. What is it over here? The oil slick. Got uh, some generators and all sorts of things going on up here. Oh wow, it's a party! All right, back to nighttime. Boop, 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 boop. I didn't expect this whatsoever. What is this? Oh my god, and it's underneath the hammer swing. <laughs> the ride has a hat! Well, that's a thing. So where's our uh, other coaster hiding? Just make our way through this madness yet again. We saw all these things. So it can only leave us with uh, going to the vistas area, right? And maybe overflow. Burn up, burn up. This must be the main attraction. Ooh. Yeah. Really cool queue as well. That helicopter sliding right off. There, just had to make a small modification. Much better now. Now you could say that I was a collaborator on this project. Shall we proceed? Oh, we got a coaster pulling in just now. That does not look safe at all. That guy's looking up with major concern. Um, I would definitely be concerned about th that. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. Nothing to see here. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look at the ride stats on this overflowing coaster. What do we have here? It is a star loop power up. Track length is a thousand meters, 71 miles per hour, 44 big meters is the biggest drop, five inversions. This is gonna be a doozy. Buckle up and make sure you side the waiver.
freaking Wii. Who would have thought a theme park on a steel oil rig would be so much fun? One thing I wanted to see was that vista point. Where is the vista point? We climb. Is that up here? Climb to the top? Well, I don't really know. Well, we could just stand wherever we so choose, and it all looks great from any vista at any point of this park. How many pieces is this rig? I'm gonna guess 35,000. 28,000. Okay. Wow. I thought this looked great during the day, and then we switched it tonight, and it got even better. It's one of those metamorphosis creations where it only gets better as you change the lighting. My goodness. Uh, what a marvel. Like I said at the top of the video, it is really difficult to build things off of the axis whenever you grab a piece in this game. If I grab uh well that's a roller coaster but yeah if i grab a piece it it's uh it's kind of all built on this one axis but the game normally wants to do things on the uh i guess what is that the uh the x-axis the z axis this is y z z and x yeah a lot of pieces like floor pieces roof pieces they cannot actually be tilted so and then same with stations as you can see the station's completely straight off of the access that makes it extremely challenging especially doing all this path work because this path work wants to work on the um the z and x accesses xc um but yeah that, that that makes it extremely difficult to pull something like this off we have coasters underneath we have coasters up above Above. We have some heavy music. It's all rocking. Amazing work on this one here today, Sir Alan. Welcome to the Moderator Squad. Thanks for helping out in the community and also thank you for your Patreon support. Um, and that's not the last of Sir Alan for this week, ladies and gentlemen. We have another creation from him coming closer to the weekend and this man is on a tear. So gotta give him tribute, not only for helping out the community with his moderation, but also th through his Patreon support. So I figured I'd dedicate a couple slots to Mr. Mr. Sir Allen for this week. So if you thought this was impressive, be sure to tune back in on the weekend as we have a bigger and better and more impressive park from Sir Allen on Saturday. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That was the rig. What did you think? Fire away down in the comments below. And that's going to do it for me in today's episode of Park Spotlight. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.